Okay, welcome back. So we're on Thursday, okay, and we were doing similarity the other day. We did angle-angle, we did side-side, and then I told you to go outside and find a shadow to create a real-world math problem, okay? So let's get started here and focus on side, angle, side. That's what we didn't actually finish in class the other day. Side, angle, side. And as soon as our keyboard catches up here. We'll get started on side, angle, side. So grab a sheet of paper and write side, angle, side. And Okay, let's move me out of the way here. Okay, so S A S. S A S. Side, angle, side. If two of the corresponding sides of a triangle are proportional and the included angle are congruent. So the example they gave is A, B, D, E. So A, B goes to DE, A, C, D, F, A, C, D, F, the included has to be in between A and D. So this angle, okay, so we mark that side, angle, side, side, angle, side. If we have that, then we can say that the two triangles are indeed Similar, that little squiggle, okay? Similar. All right, so let's actually draw one. And the example that I like to give is the, what's called triangle in a triangle or our shadow, okay? So I'm going to draw a little stick figure of me, okay? And let's make a little sunshine here. Okay, and we'll just make a little sunshine here. Okay, and this sunshine casts a shadow. Okay, so my shape casts a shadow, right? And then we have the ground. Okay, so my shadow, and we create a triangle, all right? Now I'm going to sketch that triangle. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. Now I wanted you to go outside and find something tall. Okay? So let's use our house. Okay? And the sun creates a shadow. And we'll use green again, right? And we create a shadow. All right. Then, if we strategically locate our body inside in such a way as these two angles line up, okay, these two angles line up right there, okay. So now. we know this angle and this angle are the same. We can say side, angle, side are similar. So there's a real world math problem. Okay, so I wanted you to go outside and actually see that. All right. So let's, before we move to our real world problems, let's try one of these type problems, okay? And I want everybody to draw the bow tie again, all right? So in class, I had everybody draw this bow tie. Okay, and we'll label these V, E, G, F and U. Okay, and we go 9 here, we go 10 here, 
18 here, 20 here. All right. So our whole idea is side, angle, side. And this is similar. All right. So we've got to identify an angle. Identify an angle that is congruent. Okay. Identify an angle that is congruent from each triangle. And again, we're going to go back to this idea of vertical. Okay. So, right here and right here, these are vertical angles. Vertical angles are where X marks the spot. Two lines cross. Alright, so we're going to mark that angle there and that angle there, and they are congruent because they are vertical. Angle E is congruent to angle E. Now we've got to line this up with proportions. The key to success is proportions. So let's check it out. First thing we've got to know is what corresponds to what? The short to the short, long, long. So let's do the math. Short, short. Short, short. 9 goes to 18. Long, long, 10 goes to 20. You see how that's one half? You see how that's one half? Or 0 0.5, 0 0.5? Cool. We have the same proportion. We have the same proportion. And we have an angle. So we have side angle, side. Side, angle, side. All right. So let's just finish this. E, F, G. E, F, G. Went that direction. So if we go to the short, see how this is the short and this is the long, so we went short to nothing. Short to nothing. E, U, V. They are similar. E, U, V. All right? So pause the video, finish taking notes. Now what I was hoping for in class is the you do part, okay? This was our solo, the one that didn't work the other day. I had to redo, okay? Take a moment and try. Is it angle, angle? Is it side, side, side? Is it side, angle, side? Show proportions, okay? Show the proportions, all right? So that was your assignment this week. Now in class, I'm hoping students actually went out and found a real world example, okay? So just for fun, since this is the video for class, I'm going to create sunshine, and I'm going to draw the Shadow Park water tower. Looks like a giant bucket of chicken. Right? Shadow water tower. Now, when we do this, 
right? It's going to project a long shadow, okay? Depending on the time of day. Then we got to put our body in here somewhere, right? Okay, so let's say we're six feet tall. And this particular time of day, we're going to cast a shadow, what, 18 feet? Cool. So we have our little triangle. And we have our big triangle. Now, I'm not sure how tall this is. But we got to figure out this distance, right? We got to find out this distance, okay, to make this triangle. And I don't even know what it is. But let's just say, let's just say that water tower is probably six stories, seven stories tall. Let's say seven stories. 10 feet, we're going to say 70 feet, 70 feet. Let's put the X here, okay? Now, side angle side, okay? So I'm going to redraw our triangles, bad triangle. Little, big, 70, 6, 18, X, side, angle, side. We are trying to create similar triangles. Okay, now we're going to set it up. 6 to 70. 6 goes to 70. Okay, so I went this direction. You don't have to. 6 to 70 as 18 to X. You could have done this. 6 goes to the 18 as 70 goes to the x. You see how you get the same answer? 6 times x equals 18 times 70. 6 times x equals 18 times 70. So let's grab calculator. 18 times 70 gives us 1260. 6x equals 1260. 6x equals 1260. Opposite of multiply is divide. Opposite of multiply is divide. This shadow is 210 feet long. Isn't that cool? Real world math. Okay, so now let's go to... The students had another real world example. Here was the example I gave. We just want to do some of these practice ones, okay? So cross multiply, 5 times x, 7 times 9, 5x equals 63, divide by 5, divide by 5. We get some answer, okay? What if we have a harder one? 7 times 6 equals, now we've got to put parentheses around it, 5 times the distributive property of parentheses. Okay, remember the distributive property, some of that algebra piece. So 7 times 6 is 42, 5 times v is 5v, 5 times 10 is minus 50, old-fashioned math, 
Let's add 50 to both sides. Uh, 92 equals 5v, divide by 5, divide by 5, and v is some number. Okay? All right. Now, what if we have triangles? Okay? On these triangles in a triangle, the idea is side, angle, side. Okay? Let's separate the two. So the first one is going to be right here, this little guy. And we have an X. And if the whole thing is 16, this must be a 10. Then we have a big triangle. And this whole thing is 9 plus X. And this whole thing is 16. Okay? So now I need you to recognize this to this, so x goes to 9 plus x, and the 10 goes to the 16, okay? Triangle and a triangle, side, angle, side. This angle belongs to both triangles. Okay? Alright. So let's just set it up. X to 9 plus X as 10 goes to the 16. Cool. Same idea. Cross multiply. Put parentheses around this. So now we get 16 times x is equal to 10 9 plus x. The distributive property this times this, this times this. So 16x is equal to 10 times 9 90. 10 times x is 10x. Draw a little line. Subtract from both sides. We've got to get all the variables together. Just think of them as apples. I want to get rid of these 10 apples here and put them to the other side. 16 minus 10 is 6x. I still have this 90. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. And x is 15. So, you could put a 15 here and the 9 plus 15 here for 24. Okay, that's our Thursday. Don't forget, Mathia. Everybody, please try Mathia twice a week, 20 minutes a segment, or one long session of 40. See you in class.